Super Rescue. The two diesels surveyed the shed, said one, persisted 199, Snap Duck, boasted 199, Vulgar noises greeted this, said 199, growled 7101. Next day, Henry was rolling home, tender first. He moaned. He went on. He reached a signal box and stopped, whistling for a road. Opposite the box, on the upline, stood Diesel 199 with a train of oil tankers, thought Henry. The signalman came out. Fumed 199, snapped the signalman. 199 subsided at this dreadful threat and Henry pulled the train out of the way. The diesel didn't help, he just sulked. The limited rushed by with a growl and a roar. Henry gave a chuckle. He said. The diesel said nothing. He hoped 7101 hadn't noticed. 7101 hadn't noticed. He had troubles of his own. He was cross with his coaches. They seemed to be getting heavier. He roared at them, but it did no good. Engines have a pump called an ejector, which draws air out of the train's brake pipes to keep the brakes off. If it fails, air leaks in and the brakes come on, gently at first, then harder and harder. 7101's ejector had failed. The brakes were already leaking on while he passed Henry. He struggled on for half a mile before being brought to a stand, growling furiously, unable to move a wheel. Chuckled Henry, said his driver thoughtfully. Said Henry with spirit, said his driver. Henry puffed the sulky diesel into motion and started to the rescue. Henry gently buffered up to the express. While the two drivers talked, his fireman joined his front brake pipe to the coaches. Said his driver. Said Henry. He was by now feeling rather puffed. Tooted 7101. Whistled Henry. So with 7101 growling in front and Henry gamely puffing in the middle, the long cavalcade set out for the next big station. Donald and the Flying Scotsman were waiting. They cheered as Henry puffed past. He braved the coaches thankfully. Spam can and the tankers trailed far behind. The passengers buzzed out like angry bees, but the fat controller told them about Henry, so they forgot to be cross and thanked Henry instead. They called him an enterprising engine and took his photograph. They were thrilled too when Flying Scotsman backed down on their train. If the guard hadn't tactfully shooed them to their coaches, the train would have started later than ever. Donald took the goods. Ordered the fat controller. Henry and 7101 went away together. Ventured the diesel, said the diesel ruefully. Exclaimed the diesel. His voice trailed away in admiration, said Henry. 7101 said no more. He had a lot to think about.